Hi guys, Colin here from computerclasses.ie. So one of the questions we get asked constantly is how can I put landscape and portrait pages in the same Microsoft Word document? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and have a look at it. If this is the first of the videos that you've seen, do make sure you hit the subscribe button so to get notified of any new videos that we put out. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and open Microsoft Word here. We have it open, just a blank document. I'll zoom up a wee bit just so you can see it. So there you have, and this is a portrait page that we're in. So if we are to want to put landscape and portrait in, at the minute what happens is if we change the orientation, so if we go to the layout and the orientation to landscape, it's gonna do the whole document. So if we have three or four or five pages, it's gonna put all them pages into different into the same orientation, so either landscape or portrait. So what we wanna do now is we wanna create different sections. So we can say to Microsoft Word, I want this section to be landscape and then this section to be portrait. The best way to do is show you. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in a, a bit of sample text. So I'm just gonna put in the equals rand. So anyone that watched any of my videos in the past will know the equals rand. So it's equals or a n d open bracket, close bracket. And if we want, we can put in some a number in here, maybe six. And what that'll do is that will put six paragraphs of sample text in. So we hit enter, and you can see here we have six paragraphs of sample text. I might just make that a wee bit more. I might put it into maybe 12, just so that we have the full um, page of text there on it. So we click at the end of the paragraph, so the parentheses, and we, um, we have it here. So now we have a page full of text. I'm gonna put in a couple of lines and a couple of just break them paragraphs up a wee bit for us so that we can have the full page done. So you can see we're getting ready to go on to the next page and we wanna put a table in on the next page now, but the table is gonna be in um, landscape mode, okay? Because we wanna get the full width of that table. So if we were to put a table in, so I'm just gonna go on to the um, insert a table. I'm gonna click on insert, I'm gonna to go to table, and I'm gonna put in a nice wide table, maybe 10 by nine or 10 by seven. We'll, we'll put it in, and you can see what it's doing now is it's breaking a, across this page. I'm just gonna put it down onto the next page. We should use the page break there, but we're not. Now, if we wanted this to be at the full width of the page, if we go now to change the orientation to landscape, you can see what it's doing is it's changing both things for me, okay? It's not allowing me to just change one of them. So I'm gonna put that back to portrait. The way we work it is, okay? I'm gonna undo, so I wanna get back to when we had that table not there, so without the table, okay? We click at the end of where we want the next section to start. So we click on the end, and we go into, again, layout, and then we go to break. So I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see it here. You have an option here called breaks. And once we click on breaks, you can see it, first of all, it gives you page breaks. So page break just allows you to break the page onto the next one. We look at that in a different uh, lecture. We've column breaks, but then we have a section break. So what we have is the section break is here, and it says the next page. So what it says, it inserts a section break and start a new section on the next page. So that's the one that we wanna do. Now the important part is that we've clicked our insertion point where we want that section break to go in. So I'm gonna just zoom out just so you can see the effect that it's having. I click on next page and you'll see it puts in a new page. Now the new page doesn't look any different than a normal page that you would put in. But if we go back to our home tab, I'm gonna click on this small music note. It's the show and hide formatting marks button. If I click on it, you can see that it has put in a section break here. Now, if anyone doesn't understand that show and hide button, do check out the link in the description and you will be able to, to get a link there to the full course and we deal with all them things in it, okay? So, that just shows us where the section breaks are. Now, if we go in here now to the second page, now if I go to my layout, orientation and landscape, you can see now it lets me put my page in, um, in orientation, the first one in, um, or the, my page in in landscape, the first one in portrait. And what I can do then is I can put my table in, so I can put a nice big table in, a big wide one, and we put our table in, so you can see we're getting the full width. I'm gonna just increase the width or the height of them, just so we see the full benefit of that page, what it's doing. So we'll put them maybe that size of a table there. And you can see we have the first page. Now I'm ready to go back to my standard text. So I click in beneath the table that I want. I go to layout, breaks, 
section break next page and when I'm on the next page then I then go back and I put my orientation back to portrait and you can see here we have now we have a landscape page a, um, a, la a portrait page then a landscape page and then a back to a portrait page again so it just allows you to be able to make the best use and um, of your document without having to change around the different things so the way we have it is we've sections now the sections can be used for other things like headers and footers. We will look at that in a different lecture that you can put certain things on se on section one and certain things on, on section two. But for this lecture, we just wanted to get that we wanted to put in text. I'm going to do again equals rand. I'm going to put in maybe six again. And we put in that bit of text. I'll zoom out just so you can see what it looks like. So you can see we have some text. Then we have our table in and then we have more text again. So it's a brilliant way if you want to make the best use of your document to show your tables and have them in that landscape mode. Okay. So guys, thanks for checking in. If you did get use out of the video, do please make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that like button. It really does help with the channel in getting other people seeing it. Okay. Thanks. We'll see you in the next lecture.